2021 is a seminal year for the people of Ulster. 100 years ago, our people began an adventure. 100 years ago, our people stepped out with confidence. And 100 years ago, our people created Northern Ireland. This centennial year for Northern Ireland is one of celebration and commemoration. As the world emerges from a global pandemic, we can readily identify with the pioneering and hopeful spirit that must have hung heavy in the atmosphere of the North East after the passing of the Government of Ireland Act in 1920. This resulted in the creation of two new countries, the Irish Free State and Northern Ireland. On the 7th of June 1921, Northern Ireland took its place amongst the countries of the world. That day witnessed James Craig, future Viscount Craig Avon, firmly took the helm as the first Prime Minister of Northern Ireland. Two weeks later, crowds thronged the streets of Belfast to cheer King George V as he made his way to Belfast City Hall and the official inauguration of the first Northern Ireland Parliament. This exhibition highlights the story of Northern Ireland and the role of our people during the past 100 years. In the course of 100 images and 100 stories, you will explore the highs and the lows of our history and learn how those from a British, Ulster, Scots and Irish identity have shaped the nature and experience of our first century as a country within the United Kingdom. The past 100 years has witnessed our people champion endeavours at home and abroad. They have been pastors and practitioners, innovators and inventors, writers and poets, sports personalities and television legends. With this in mind, we have ensured that people are at the core of our centennial exhibition. The Orange family are also very much at the heart of this story. I want to thank everyone who has helped make this exhibition possible and hope that it will inform about the past and inspire for the future. The past 100 years have moulded and defined who we are and it has been a story of endurance, enthusiasm, innovation and excellence. As Grand Master, I am proud to formally launch this exhibition and to appeal to everyone to take the time to explore the history and the heritage of Northern Ireland. The Grand Orange Lodge of Ireland and the Museum of Orange Heritage are pleased to introduce you to our story. We hope that you will explore and enjoy. God commanded the Israelites to observe important anniversaries associated with the establishment and history of their nation. Sixteen times in Deuteronomy alone, the younger generation were told, Remember! Mark them. 3,500 years later, Jews still do. Deuteronomy 8 verse 2 Thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these years. We must remember that God has in his providence granted us blessings that citizens of many nations can only envy. We therefore dedicate this exhibition to the glory of God in memory of the founders of Northern Ireland and of all those who laid down their lives in defence of our province and in the maintenance of law and order. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, may this centennial exhibition cause us to reflect upon your many blessings upon our province these hundred years. We are grateful it illustrates the immense impact you have enabled Northern Ireland citizens to make worldwide, scientifically, socially, medically, industrially, and religiously. We thank you for the significant contribution made by the Orange Institution to the welfare of Northern Ireland. As this exhibition illustrates your goodness, we pray that all who view it may be stirred up to live for the glory of God and the peace and prosperity of Northern Ireland. This we humbly ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our blessed Lord and Saviour. Amen. 